Hello friends, uh, this is my second presentation for the areas of finance and accounts and 33rd presentation overall considering all the presentation which I have made and subject today is performance appraisal for finance and account professionals using the uh, KRS. What is included in this presentation uh, following are the things the list of 15 KPIs uh, with the direct responsibility areas for the F&A function and uh, another list of 15 KPIs with indirect responsibility of the finance and account function primarily a recap of this uh, in the my earlier first presentation uh, then third point is KPI the purpose and example at business unit level and for other function levels uh, 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 point number four is KPI versus K KRA difference between these two uh, fifth is KRA is to be developed for whom all in the functional uh, in the finance and accounts areas uh, list of all functions where the executives need to be uh, measured on KRA basis. Eight activities for KRA's demand appraisal system irrespective of the function or the uh, le level. Uh, uh, example of KRA's uh, quanti quantitative performance assessment for the general manager level at the finance and account function. Examples of the KRA qualitative performance assessment at the GM level in the finance and account function. Uh, suggested team members who should be conducting this appraisal for GM finance and AM uh, finance and accounts. I have proposed two illustrations one for GM finance and second one is for AM finance. Uh, point number 10 is performance rating scale proposed by the HR for giving the rewards. Uh, point 11 performance based on the quantitative and qualitative weighted average score for GM and AM uh, finance and accounts uh, as illustrations. Uh, what are the post appraisal actions required to be performed and activities that can adversely impact the business and future references. Now a recap of the 15 KPIs uh, for the f and function which I have shared in my first presentation. Uh, this is uh, IPO equity related, long term borrowings related, investment related, uh, merger and acquisition or JV related, board matters related, cash flows from the business operations, cash flows from the investing activities, cash flows from the financing activities. Of course, CFO can certainly add or delete or modify these and uh, consider these as uh, indirect uh, in case uh, he or she thinks so. Uh, then uh, continuing list of uh, uh, 15 KPIs for direct uh, uh, responsibility areas, free cash flows, cash burn ratios, operating cash flows to current liabilities, solvency debt equity ratios, liquidity related working capital, liquidity related current ratios, operations uh, operating cash flows to capital expenditures ratios, uh, etc. Now next one is the recap of the 15 KPIs for the indirect responsibility areas where F&A perform indirect role. Uh, uh, liquidity ratios uh, related uh, quick ratios profit margins uh, gross profit margins here I am considering this indirect because profit is mostly driven from the sales and finance function and the purchase uh, or contract functions then gross profit margins profit before tax earning before interest depreciation and tax uh, uh, the expense to sales ratio return on equity earnings and uh, earnings per share dividend yield return on assets financial leverage Accounts receivable turnover, days sales account uh, outstanding, average vendor credit, inventory turnover. Of course, CFO can decide in case these are to be transferred to the direct responsibility areas. It is absolutely fine. It is as at the absolute discretion of the CFO. Now, the purpose of K KPI is an examples at the business unit level. Now, based on the KPI uh, which we just shared, uh, monthly or quarterly performance targets can be set up at the business unit level and at the each functional levels like it can be finance and accounts function, it can be sales and marketing function, it can be infection function and so on so forth all the functions. Now, few examples of KPIs which are listed at the at macro level are key milestone to be accomplished by this will be unique for each function uh, like for sales and marketing it could be the market share it could be the uh, total sales it could be the new products uh, uh, new products launch export market etc uh, key timelines for milestones uh, when are these to be established again it will be unique for uh, each function like for the R&D function it could be uh, when this model will be new model will be uh, launched uh, for manufacturing the, the key milestone for this timeline would be uh, when will this pilot lot be produced etc. Revenue and earnings of course these are applicable for both marketing and uh, finance account functions. Uh, uh, expense and costs unique for each functions. 
uh, essential resources including assets and software and manpower etc unique for each function organization structure to accomplish the above targets unique for each function so this is a broad overview of the kpis which need to be converted into the krs now kpi versus kra while kpis are targeted at the overall business unit level or at the functional level kras are the key result areas at the individual levels now kra ought to be different for different levels depending on the competence experience and the role envisaged for the level these levels can be like higher level can be director ceo ceo cfo vice president general managers and so on so on as applicable to the organization middle levels could be senior managers managers uh, etc lower level can be assistant manager staff or as applicable or even blue collar worker in the case of manufacturing the number of kras for specific hierarchical level position can be as per the discretion of the management it could be say 6 kras or 8 kras or 10 kras or 12 kras and so on absolutely at the discretion of the uh, concern concern superior uh, each kra must have a unique percentage weightage like for kpis but the total of weightages for all scores must be uh, add up to 100 so that the uh, kras can be out outcome of the kras can be quantified kras need to be developed for uh, who all i mean who all professionals in the finance and accounts sub functions this could be in the within this uh, fnda the the uh, executives or the staff or the big uh, uh, senior management working in the sales and marketing accounting international operations purchase accounting material accounting costing and expense accounting borrowing investments banking treasury cash management general manager general ledger uh, accounting uh, budget mis dashboard strategy compliances internal and external audits taxation whether it is gst or income tax or import uh, duties so krs need to be established for individuals performing roles in these sub functions eight activities for a kr driven appraisal system and these activities are eight activities are common across all uh, uh, all uh, functions sub functions and of course the executives uh, for whom the performance is to be done now number first one is identifying the quanti- and identifying quantitative krs uh, parameters and computing kr score on a scale of 100 second one is identifying quantitative kra parameters and computing kra score out of 100 so i'll be giving examples of each of these seven eight points which i am covering in this slide uh, conducting appraisal uh, annual appraisal based on score and i said annually it can also be six monthly also suggested team members who should be performing the uh, appraisals for uh, different levels i have given example of two levels general manager and assistant manager level establishing performance rating scale by the hr team how much reward to give for different kind of ratings which also i'll give example computed weighted average score based on the combined qualitative and quantitative parameters uh, what are the post appraisal actions uh, for the uh, for the professional who have been appraised that need to be taken by the hr and the concern uh, boss in the uh, fnd function implementation of the decisions taken based on the appraisals uh you know these two illustration as i was saying for are there in the following slides for the fnd uh, for the general manager and for the assistant manager now this is example of kra's quantitative performance assessment for the gm level uh, and this is in correspond to the activity one which i said identifying the quantitative kra parameters uh now uh, here you can see there are five uh, five columns first column is kra chosen out of these 30 para, 30 kpi parameters including 15 quantitative and 15 qualitative which i have mentioned earlier direct and uh, direct and uh, indirect responsibility areas uh, weightage out of uh, 100 for each of this uh, k- uh, kra uh, unit of measurement how it is to be measured uh, target uh, as per the unit of measurement actual as per the unit of measurement and derived score out of Uh, this based on the performance now let's talk about the first kra for a at the general manager level it could be for example the overall finance cost for the division so let's say we are uh, the cfo decides to give a weightage of 25 out of 100 so the unit of measurement for overall finance cost will be obviously in rupees lakhs or usd uh, lakhs whatever appropriate uh, target at will be say in uh, rupees or usd uh, of the overall finance uh, cost and actual will be uh, equivalent in the same way uh, rupees or usd so here i have just assumed that this is let's say target is a1 and the actual is a2 
so the derived score will be a2 by a1 into 25 so let's say that the target for the finance cost is say uh, 60 lakhs and uh, uh, actually is also 60 lakhs so the uh, score will be 25 let's say uh, score is uh, uh, let's say target is say uh, 40 lakhs uh, and actual accomplishment is say 20 lakhs so the score will be 20 by 40 into 25 uh, um, uh, depending on the no in fact it will be the other way around it will be uh, because performance is better it will be the other way around and return on investments uh, it is in given in the in terms of percentage percentage uh, uh, whether it's it 20 percent 15 percent 70 percent so depending on let's say the score is a uh, uh, 12 percent and uh, target was 15 percent the marks earned will be 12 by 15 into 20 score similarly for cash flows so uh, for a general manager level depending on which uh, particular uh, responsibility is assigned to general manager uh, the role uh, the the kpi can be chosen kpi can be selected it could be for say treasury function it could be for borrowing it could be for investment it could be for uh, general manager it could be for audits it could be any function so this i just i gave example of three uh, KRS for a general manager level. So let's assume that here this total score is weighted, weighted uh, target is a hundred and let's assume based on the working the uh, the derived earned score is 85. This I will take it to some slide and show how it will be used. 85 score earned for the on the quantitative uh, parameters uh, out of hundred. Now let's look at the qualitative parameters now there are some parameters for which you can't quantify for example these are related to the competence levels now uh, at the general manager level we expect that uh, a person would have obviously competencies for managing the sales accounting fixed assets accounting metal accounting cash flow management accounting standards and so on so so forth let's say that we have targeted a score of 35 and based on the assessment of the superior it is 30 so uh, this uh, rating will be 30 uh, out of 35 on the corporate matters let's say uh, general manager is engaged in the uh, uh, various assignments uh, roles where long term borrowing and uh, jv and ma and a and equity matter also uh, the the gm is uh, or uh, is also involved so let's say the target score is 20 and actually is 15 Similarly, the IT and ERP software, knowledge of the ERP systems to generate the reports, specialized softwares for the F&A module, uh, for the costing, for the uh, controlling, for the audit rails and so on and so forth. Here the target is 15, actual might be 7, I just for example. And uh, legal, uh, uh, legal kind of knowledge, competence required is knowledge of the Companies Act, Income Tax Act, Central Goods and Service Tax, GST Act, SEBI Act and so on and so forth. Uh, here I have given a target of 10 and actually is 8. Uh, uh, similarly, leadership. Leadership, there can be uh, 10 number of skills like team building or change management or ethics and analytical skills and so on and so forth. So, let's say that the total sc score uh, target was 100 and actual earned is 80. This I will show where it is being used and this is being used with service activity number 2. And uh, just to reiterate that these scores which I have given uh, assigned as 35, 20, adding up to 100, it, these are purely at the discretion of the uh, CFO uh, who can decide how much weightage to assign. Now, as per the activity 4, I had mentioned that uh, the different, uh, uh, different team members uh, should be doing the appraisal. Say for the F and A, uh, here I'm, uh, the, there are three columns. The uh, first, comma, first column is common, uh, who should be the participant in this function and uh, from which function and uh, uh, appraisal team for, a G, uh, for the, doing the appraisal of the general manager function and third column is for appraisal of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, uh, of the in fact it should be AM, it should be read as uh, assistant manager not GM, third column is for the uh, AM. Now for the uh, first row F and A, the, uh, let me talk about the GM. Uh, the immediate uh, superior of the uh, uh, from uh, while doing the appraisal for the general manager immediate superior of the gm should be present uh, it could be a director it could be a cfo uh, it could be the ceo whoever is 
to whom uh, the GM is reporting to. For the customer functions, internal customer function, uh, this could be like uh, for the GM, internal function could be internal customer function for that uh, could be a purchase function or sales function or manufacturing function. So that the the one level higher than the GM, uh, like director or head of production, should also be present in the uh, in the uh, appraisal uh, team. Of course, from the HR team, one level higher than the GM who is being appraised should be present, like director HR or HOD of HR. Other functions could be one level higher than GM uh, as proposed uh, by the CFO, etc. Uh, and ma ma the management side, uh, it could be CFO plus CEO, CEO or MD, particularly in the case of promotion uh, or the firing is to be done. Uh, so depending on that case, uh, the, the, the team can be comprised of. In the third column, which I have just corrected, it is for the assistant manager. Uh, the, the, the participant could be for the finance and account. The manager level could be the immediate superior. He could be part of that. He or she could be part of that. Customer function could be manager in the purchase function or sales function or manufacturing function. The HR, it would be manager HR or senior manager HR. Uh, other function is optional. Uh, management could be either the GM of the finance and account function uh, plus GM of the HR function in the case of promotion particularly. Of course, this can be changed at the absolute discretion of the CFO and these are in assigned as per the activity number 4 which I have mentioned. Just to show you once again, activity number 4 was suggested team members of the connecting performance appraisal. Now, performance rating. Now, uh, one example of the performance uh, rating uh, is given the in terms of scoring for the qualitative and quantitative let's say you know usually in any or in any organization the rating goes from from excellent to very good to average to below average and poor uh, so here i have just suggested uh, the excellent scoring could be considered considering a score of weighted average score of 80 to 100 very good 60 to 80 average 60 to 40 to 60 and so on so forth this again can be at the discretion of the uh, hr head and consideration with the co and md uh, this again i will be showing where to utilize this in the appraisal system now let's assume that this is the uh, this is the uh, performance based on the quantitative and qualitative weighted average score for gm finance and am um, uh, finance the first column is common the assessment on what parameters uh, and uh, the next three columns are for the gm level with the target of 100 and the next subsequent uh, uh, three levels uh, that is uh, 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 assumed score and assumed weightage uh, for AM and derived weightage score. These are for the AM level. So let me just focus on the GM for uh, GM level. Let's say uh, on the quantity parameters I had shown earlier that uh, the uh, the score and uh, assumed score and was 85. Uh, just to recap that, let me just show you once again. Here I had shown in this uh, in this slide I had shown in the last column at the bottom the score earned was 85 out of 100. <coughs> uh, so uh, out of uh, score earned 85, uh, let's assume that at the GM level the weightage decided for quantity parameter is 60 percent, and uh, the for the qualitative parameters the score earned was 80 at the gm level let me show once again so this is the slide where i had shown the quality performance rating here the in the last uh, column at the bottom most row the score is shown as 80 on the quality parameters so uh, quantity parameters uh, score earned is 85 quality parameters is 80 we are considering weightage of 60 percent and 40 percent respectively the derived score earned uh, is 85 into 0.6 which is 51 uh, quality score is 80 into 0.4 which is 32 so total weighted average score is 83 similarly for the assistant manager uh, level uh, uh, let's assume although i have not given the example let's assume that uh, the quantitative score parameters uh, the score earned is 70 and qualitative parameter score earned is 60 and assumed weighted average is weighted uh, for the am is 80 percent and for quality uh, for the qualitative 20 percent here kindly appreciate that at the gm level the weightage for the 
quantitative parameter is 60% and qualitative parameters is 40%. Whereas in this case of lower level persons, the weightage can be more for the quantitative parameters and uh, less for the qualitative parameters. So here the score and for the system manager, in the last column is quantitative parameter 18 to uh, 17 to 0 0.8, uh, 56. Uh, qualitative parameter 16 to 0.2 is 12. So total is 68. So the uh, in case you look at the rating, overall performance rating at the GM level, in this uh, column number uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, it is 83 score which falls in the bracket of 8200 uh, and therefore excellent. And let me just show this. See in the ex in this in this uh, previous slide, excellent rating is between 8200 and very good is 60 to 80. So uh, in the case of uh, GM level, it is 83. So excellent rating should be given. And in the case of uh, system measure, uh, the rating is uh, the score is 68. So that person gets a rating uh, of uh, uh, very good. Now, uh, what should be done after the appraisal has been done by the team, as mentioned above. Now, this is in reference to the activity number 7 and 8, which I have mentioned. Let me go back to that. Activity number 7 was, what are the post appraisal actions to be taken and the implementation of the decision taken. So, let me come back to this. Yeah. So, appraisal, appraising team to discuss the aspects such as below in the uh, performance appraisal meeting uh, which are with, uh, which was which are with the appraisal being uh, uh, appraising being appraised which could be a GM, it could be AM, it could be major, it could be senior, it could be anyone. So, the, uh, the parameters to be discussed are the promotion based uh, based on the consistent performance over the last few appraisals and an opportunity uh, available for the taking the next level role transferability to the other functions of business unit. This is also a aspect to be debated in the uh, in the uh, appraisal team, which normally is called career development team. Uh, third, next one is training and development needs which are there for the person. In case the score is particularly less, then person needs to be trained and developed and training could be inside or outside. Changing in the role and associated organizational structure, it could be with promotion or without promotion. Uh, to bring about uh, skill versatility and effective date of this uh, 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 role change promotion or transfer etc etc and of course implementation of the decision taken is uh, the uh, annual amount to be given or reward to be given or promotion etc uh, this is the another action now uh, in this example cfo and uh, fnd teams can use these concepts to develop the performance result system uh, uh, result system in consideration with the hr and comd for each particular level uh, it can be used for staff level, um, for the uh, middle level, for the senior management level. Uh, usually it is done at those level, at the workman level, at the junior boss level, this may not be necessary. Now activities that can adversely impact the uh, business while doing this, while evolving this appraisal. Providing incorrect inputs to the senior management like CFO, CEO, MD, etc. with the malice intent of assigning easy targets and goals for care parameters to some preferred uh, appraises. Uh, target setting of the following is not objective at different levels like quantitative number of KRA parameters and their appropriateness uh, needs to be uh, very well defined. Qualitative parameters based, it, it, should, it should not be biased. Uh, based on the and must be based on the applicable competences and their target score level. For example, if you are praising a person at the staff level, junior level, uh, one cannot consider leadership uh, uh, competency to be uh, appraised on. Or uh, supposing he is a uh, he doesn't have any someone he or she doesn't have any someone reporting to him, so you can't be necessarily appraising him for the uh, team team coordination matters. Now, next one is KRA parameters are neither comprehensive nor aligned with the KPI and may contain transaction related routine activities rather than uh, performance driven KPIs. Percentage values assigned to each KRA or competencies are biased with ulterior objective of influencing the outcome that is besides the performance review perspective. Uh, uh, you know th uh, that's why uh, you know I mentioned that the team should be comprising of different uh, functions from the self department of uh, F&A in this case HR customer department and CEO so that there is the bias if any while assigning the weightage is totally eliminated Tar uh, targets uh, must be based on uh, stretch goals rather than 
uh, and uh, not lose goals uh, it should be in fact this should be fair uh, so that uh, there is no demotivation or dissatisfaction actual measurement must be captured accurately uh, uh, not manipulated uh, based on the uh, based on the back end software etc or uh, the mis etc etc uh, now uh, uh, the other uh, uh, technical activities which can take place is that through the back end of the software for the appraisal you know the appraiser makes some circular changes in the kra targets or actuals during the performance review meeting with the ulterior motive and turns of turns of the audit trail to prevent detection and uh, uh, last one is that not ensuring restricted access rights to the kra values both target and actuals in the present workflow software in the hr you know this uh, uh, large scale organizations all this present process is uh, automated uh, um, through workflows now uh, this uh, one book on the finance and accounts function is under conceptualization stage and would be launched in the next few months uh, this is an advanced blog prepared from that one of the chapters on that uh, you can also refer to the blogs on my website uh, which i have given the reference uh, this is already published and uh, you can also ref some refer to some of the articles of interest uh, among the other th 32 presentation which i have made with this might be of interest to you this you can see in my facebook reference and linkedin uh, reference thank you very much